Today, we're about to dive into the heart-pounding world of drag racing crashes. From cars taking flight to fiery explosions, these jaw-dropping moments will leave you on the edge of your seat. Get ready to witness the raw power, danger and unbelievable escapes that make drag racing so thrilling. Tommy Humans in 2022, Tommy Eumanns suffered one of the most terrifying crashes in drag racing history at the Alabama International Dragway. Having smashed personal record times the week before in testing, Eumanns should have been full of confidence in his GTO. That is, until Wynn got underneath his car and in a scene that looks utterly incredible, his car began sailing and almost floating through the air at 200 miles per hour. It sailed over the left-hand barriers before smashing back down to earth on the grass patch. Tommy was transferred straight to hospital where he underwent surgery but thankfully made a full recovery. Mustang ripped in half Next up, we're at the Willsboro Speedway when two unidentified drivers set off fairly evenly until one of the cars, a Mustang, slowly began veering to the left before hitting a guardrail and dramatically smashing into two pieces on a metal tower before coming to a halt. Luckily, the driver walked away from the incident totally unscathed, but a 22-year-old woman in the crowd broke her arm in multiple places after standing right by the railing where the car hit. John Zapier Next up, we're at the 2009 Andra Pro Series Top Door Slammer, where John Zapier was closing in on the record for all-time wins. Straight after setting off from the line, both drivers went through a pretty violent tyre shake, but while his competitor kept it in a straight line, Zapier's left-hand tyre gripped the track and sent him headfirst into the opposite wall. On impact, sparks flew as his bonnet completely detached itself from the car, before skating down the strip along the side of the barrier. Fortunately, Zapier was okay, but Morris Fabietti took the win, ending Zapier's win streak. Matt Abel At 200 miles per hour with the accelerator flawed, there's only one thing standing between you and disaster, your brakes. So when Matt Abel realised that his parachute hadn't fully deployed while he was cruising down the strip, I think there was probably some panicking going on under his helmet. Surely Zap stays there, and he does. What do you got, Matt? What do you got? Yeah, he just gets stronger as the night goes on. Oh, he also hasn't got shoots, though. That's what he's not oh, got. No! This is going to go real, real deep, Wade. I don't think that's stopping. Oh, over and over in the deep end. Matt Abel, that's big. Oh man, just when he catches a break. For Matt, thankfully, there's a long runoff area of gravy before any walls or barriers, but that didn't stop him from turning and flipping multiple times at high speeds. Luckily, Matt got out of his car unscathed, still just not able to catch a break, no pun intended. Gary Page and next up, we have Gary Page on his return to Funny Car in 1994 in Santa Pod, England. The crowd holds its breath as Gary gets away nicely, keeping in total control of the car down the straight before disaster strikes. Seemingly out of nowhere, Gary's engine right in front of him bursts into flames at 200 miles per hour. As he manages to get it to slow down, he veers to the right-hand side before tumbling over on the grass. But now, you can hear the silence across the whole crowd as the tension builds. Gary is likely to have been unable to breathe in there with all the smoke and foam building in his car. She's not been in a funny car for three years. We've been waiting to see this. Superb control from Gary all the way through. And then suddenly, what every funny car driver dreads, a fireball. That engine that's in front of him has let go, causing that whole car to roll. The car rolls. And where is Gary now? All we can see is smoke. The car's the right way up. Now there is an escape hatch in the roof. And that is Gary's only way up. But thankfully, after a few seconds, the roof of his car opens up and Gary manages to step out. Graham Ellis 
In Santa Pod once again, this time nine years earlier, Graham Ellis suffered a similar accident. Graham was in a Superbird Pro mod before disaster struck. After he lost control of the car and it began veering left, Ellis was just a mere passenger, tumbling over itself multiple times as it smashed into the barrier and the car seemingly exploded into millions of metal flakes flying into the air. But luckily, Graham managed to come out relatively unhurt. Steve Collier Now, get ready for one of the most spectacular drag crashes of all time. Steve Collier, competing against Monroe Guest at Topeka, Kansas, launched off the starting line after a rain-delayed start. When he got up to speed, his wheelie bar failed and his nose climbed higher and higher until he was almost vertical at 200 miles per hour. An immediate tire smoke for Monroe Guest, who went, whoa, no, a blowover at the top end of the racetrack. Steve Collier's car stood up on end and turned over backwards. Luckily, he managed to land the right way up before sliding backwards all the way down the strip until gliding to a halt, a stark reminder of the dangers in drag racing. Daniel Farris. Now, we've got a crash that resembles an aeroplane taking off much more closely than a drag race. In Tulsa, Oklahoma, Daniel Farris's Corvette's nose lifted at around 250 miles per hour as he caught air underneath the car and almost floated in the air for a few hundred feet before dramatically slamming back down to earth and skidding to a halt. After the crash, it was found that his brand new carbon fiber front end played a huge role in the crash as he flew across the surface. As Daniel himself put it, he was taking flight as if he was heading to the Bahamas. Mikhail Kagrad Next up, we're at the Santa Pod track in 2002 at the Top Fuels Finals when Mikhail Kagrad is up against the rookie Brit Daryl Bradford. Both drivers got away cleanly, with Mikhail taking the lead, but once both drivers looked to deploy their parachutes, it all went wrong for Kagrad. While his competitor slowed down smoothly, Mikhail suddenly swerved to the right before slamming into the wall and an explosion of metal and carbon fiber appeared, showering the grass patch beside the strip. Easily one of the most frightening accidents in drag history. Andy Robinson now, the thing to remember about these drag cars is that although they weigh more than a couple of thousand pounds and are sometimes up to 15 feet in diameter, they can still be tossed around the air like it's absolutely nothing. And unfortunately, this is what got the better of Andy Robinson at the MSA British Drag Racing Championship finale in 2018. The six-time champion started well, but as he tried to make a save, he overreacted and ended up sending his car into the wall and tumbling through the air as a result. Robertson was lucky the car didn't land on the roof first and he avoided serious injury. Mike Murphy when we imagine drag racing crashes, we often think of high speed spins and tumbles with thousands of small carbon fiber pieces being sprayed everywhere. But this incident from Mike Murphy had a much tamer look. Mike set off cleanly, but within the first few feet found himself having to correct himself. But unfortunately, he lost control and slammed into his right hand wall. The accident didn't stop there, as seemingly out of nowhere, his car burst into flames as it grinded to a halt on the raceway. And he's a wall sideways and into the wall is Mike Murphy in a big fire down there as the door has come open as Murphy brings the car to a stop at the eighth mile. The fire has come way down. Thankfully, the responding team is on the scene right now. Thankfully, Mike managed to escape and was totally OK, but still a close call nonetheless. Now, if you thought the last crash was bad, get ready for one just as spectacular. In southern Georgia, at No Mercy 13, Casey Bushmeyer's Corvette takes off and immediately veers to the right before slamming into the wall and bursting into flames, all while sending carbon fibers and pressure cans skidding around on the surface. Please clear the starting line, please clear the start. 
starting line. Although it was a pretty petrifying crash, luckily Casey walked away unscathed. David Farlow versus Billy Colson. Now, usually in drag racing, to see one car crash and slam into the wall is bad enough. But every now and again, we see an accident twice as bad involving two of them. At the World Cup Finals, we saw David Farlow and Billy Colson go head to head. The pair of them were alongside one another until Farlow's car took a quick turn and struck Colson, sending both of them tumbling and out of control for another 100 feet. But luckily, amid the wreckage, both drivers managed to escape unhurt. In drag racing, the risks are well known for the drivers. They know what they're signing up to. But after all, we respect their bravery. But what we don't always appreciate is the people who capture this kind of footage to show us. Like in this crash. Here we see one car lose control and slide behind his competitor before mounting on the wall amid the spray of metal all around. But remarkably, this cameraman, or woman, doesn't even flinch despite all the material flying around him. A testament to the passion and bravery these fans show. Next up, we have what I think is the most spectacular crash on the entire list, and also one of the scariest. As Crash is playing, I mean, could you imagine being the one inside this car as it flips, tumbles and twists around before landing the wrong way up with more of your car missing than still with you? I think the crowd reaction says it all. Next up, we have another double car pileup. Now, if you're a drag racer and you end up tumbling and spinning because you lost control, I think you'd be frustrated. But if someone else crashes into you because they lost control, it would leave a bitter taste. In this crash, the two cars set off the line, and while one of them veers ever so close to the barrier and scrapes it, he bounces off it and slides across the track before making contact with his competitor, in an incident which leaves him tumbling and turning on the wrong side of the barrier. Phil Lamartina Now in this video so far, we've seen crashes, flips, tumbles and fire at breathtaking speeds. But what we haven't seen yet is all of them at once. That's exactly what went wrong for Phil Lamartina in the 2007 Top Fuel at Willowbank. Phil's dragster went airborne before flying through the sky at aeroplane speeds, before bouncing, tumbling on the ground, and to top it all off, smashed into the barrier and burst into a ball of flames. The racing driver has amazingly walked away from one of the most spectacular crashes ever seen. His dragster was rocketing along at aircraft speeds when it became airborne, split in two, and burst into flames. Luckily, Phil managed to walk away from the crash totally unscathed, miraculously, I should say. <laughs> and if one airborne flying crash wasn't enough for his career, Phil Lamartina had a crash almost identical to his previous one in 2015. At the 2015 Fox W International, Lamartina's dragster caught lift and before he knew it, all he could see was the sky as he became a complete passenger. He was lifted at least 10 feet into the air before he was shaken around until he crashed onto the floor with a shower of sparks, but luckily no flames this time. Larry Dixon, 2015 Sometimes as a drag racer, there are things you can control and things you can't. Unfortunately for Larry Dixon, the front half of your car snapping off is not one of the things you can control. So when it happened to him against Doug Kalitta in 2015, all he could do was hope. Whoa! Larry crashes hard right at the finish line. Both cars were kind of hunting towards the center. You can see that Doug's car was moving over there. 
As his car eventually landed and smashed up against the barrier, thankfully it grinded to a slow halt where Larry could get out and give the crowd and cameras a wave. The 2012 Top Fuel champion suffered a frightening crash during the qualifying runs at the NHRA Summit Racing Equipment Southern Nationals in 2014. Although Antron got a much better start than his opponent, he couldn't get his vehicle slowed down and as a result, something seemed to explode in his car as he slammed into the wall before bouncing back across the track right in front of his competitor. Thankfully, he walked away from the crash unhurt. In 2016, Stevie Fast suffered a terrible crash in his Mustang while racing against Dwayne Mills. After catching lift underneath his vehicle, Stevie floated in the air before bouncing back onto the ground and sliding along at high speed while upside down. Thankfully, no one was hurt in the accident. Dwayne Mills Although he managed to escape an accident against his competitor, Stevie Fast, Dwayne Mills had his own fair share of accidents throughout the years, including this one at Lights Out 6. As his nose tilted towards the sky, there was nothing he could do to bring it back down, and before he knew it, all four wheels were in the sky before he crashed back down to the barrier and skidded across the track. Thankfully, he was okay. Now, as we've seen, drag racing is a sport that pushes both machines and drivers to their absolute limits. These crashes remind us of the razor-thin line between victory and disaster on the strip, but they also showcase the incredible safety advances that allow racers to walk away from seemingly unsurvivable wrecks. From Tommy Human's airborne adventure to Dwayne Mills' skyward tumble, each incident tells a story of split-second decisions and nerves of steel. While we marvel at the spectacle, let's not forget the bravery of these drivers who stare danger in the face every time they strap in. Now, this has been Racers Reverie. Make sure to like and subscribe to our channel for more motorsport content just like this. We'll see you in the next video.